Yo, what's up guys? It's your boy Dano from My Brother's Keeper International Missions. I'm here with my friend Paco Martinez. How you doing? And uh, Paco's just in town for the day. He's actually touring around with his work right now, going around the country. And so he's just got to come back for one day. We're hanging out. We're about to go to a Bible study. And I just wanted to do a quick interview with him while I got him here. Paco has been involved in what I'm doing in many ways, pretty much every way possible. It, when I was first in Honduras, he started keeping track of what I was doing on Facebook and really just started encouraging me a lot. I know that he was, you know, getting encouragement out of seeing what I was doing down there as well, but he was sending lots of words of encouragement. And um, then he's also donated financially. He donated lots of brand new uh, clothing to bring down there and give to people. He's now back out on the road working, and we've just designed up a new flyer. He's gonna be handing out flyers wherever he goes around the country, and he's very passionate about what it is that we're doing and, and being involved in any way he can and trying to get the message out there. And so I just wanted to kind of take a couple minutes to talk to him real quick and find out what it is about my brother's keeper that has him so interested and passionate, and what is it that's drawn him into it, you know, what is it about what you see when you started watching the videos or what is it that you feel that connects you to, you know, what it is that we're doing right now? Well, you know, I went through a lot of hardships for the first time when I was living in California. And when I started having the struggle, you know, I used to live kind of easy. You know, I was living with my parents. I was you know, too old to even be living with them. But I was selfish, living greedy. And then when I got stuck, you know, having the struggle on my own, I really saw that all those things that I really was caring about, my car, just clothing, just different things that didn't matter. All that really mattered about was, you know, love, having food to eat, a, a place to stay. And when you're kind of troubled by you not knowing where you're going to sleep and where you're going to get food, that's where it really started getting with me. And then, you know, when I was finally de delivered from all the past things I used to do, smoke cigarettes and, and drugs and stuff like that, was when I started seeing, you know, what Jesus said, that love your neighbor as yourself, that's the most important thing, and that you were really, you know, trying to, to do that with all your might, you know, with all your strength, to help these, these people that no one's really trying to help, you know, there are people in different places in the world, but, you know, you were led there to help them, and it just, it really moved me to get involved, you know, and I, I feel like I should be doing more, you know, we all should be doing more to advance the kingdom of God, every day, with every person that we come in contact with that needs help, you know, just tell them a little bit about Jesus and how he can help them out, you know, that's just, that's how I'm trying to do lately, you know, a poor person that needs some food, I give them food, and just, you know, tell them a little bit about Christ, tell them how he's delivered me from the way I want to live, which is bad, you know. And when I was first getting started, it was just a series of events. It was nothing that I ever planned on doing with my life. It was not something I intended. You know, I didn't really know that that's what I was going to wind up doing. And so for people like Paco and many others who started really like, you know, pouring out these words of encouragement, which I was feeling like, people were looking at me as something I wasn't or as something more than I was, you know what I mean? I'm like, I'm just down here. I just happened to wind up down there and things started happening. And I was doing it because it's what I wanted to do. Like, it's what I felt was right. Like you're, what we were just talking about, when you see something, everybody has that voice in their head that says, oh man, that's not right. Or, this isn't right. Somebody should do something about it. But most people will say, somebody else will do it. Yeah. You know what I mean? And I wanted to start listening to that voice and doing something about it, but the encouragement coming from Paco and many other people was the ones that really started making me realize like, yeah, this is right, you know, this is something important that needs done and other people are, not just the people in Honduras are being affected by it, lots of people in uh, the states are being affected by it as well and it's encouraging them to step up and do something more and something greater, so. I think we all have the power We've got working through us to make a difference in our community if we let his love flow through us just in everyday actions. Even just smiling to someone and asking how their day is going, you know, can make, you know, you don't know how their, that person's day is. They, maybe that's all they needed to bring them back up, to boost them back yeah. up, to let them know there are good people in this world that, you know, care about others. But I'm um, waiting, my brother's trying to get out of the driveway. I just want to introduce you guys to Paco, just like I'm trying to introduce you guys one by one to everybody who is slowly getting involved and like joining forces like, yeah, count me in. I want to be a part of that. I'm reaching out to all you guys. Anybody who wants to be, 
It's not my thing. I've been saying that since day one. This is not about me. It's just something that I feel is the right thing to do. Not about us. And um, opening a door and giving people an avenue. A lot of people want to do something, but they don't know where to start, you know, or what, where to even begin to get involved and do something that would change the world. So that's basically my mission is just to open that door for people to give them, you want to do something here. We've already started. We got the ball rolling. The pieces are in place. All you got to do is say, yeah, I want in, you know. So this is Paco Martinez. You'll be seeing a lot more of him. I just want to say thank you, Paco. You've been a big well, encouragement. You, and uh, yeah.